Hi, are you a new parent? If you are, you're probably stressed and overwhelmed and you didn't have a chance to even think about childproofing your home. My name is V and I'm a partner at OuchProofers.com. We are a professional childproofing company based in Washington, DC. Just to clarify something, I'm in charge of website and marketing. So I am not a pro when it comes to childproofing, but luckily the other two dads on the team are. In fact, my wife and I are having our first child this August. Let me show you something. So here's the latest snapshot of the ultrasound. Um, look at the gummy bear feet right there. So the reason I'm recording this video is I want to talk about childproofing because a lot of us new parents have no idea what it actually entails and it is more involved than a lot of us think. So if you think that childproofing is just simply slapping a couple of baby gates, perhaps making sure that your outlet covers are in place, trust me, this is more complicated than that. Take a look around my office. So when I did a consultation with one of the dads on our team, they pointed out a bunch of hazards just in my office. So let's take a look. Here you go. There is a freestanding fan, which is obviously a hazard. We have those really, really old craftsman windows that are, and this is the first floor, so they are easy to open and uh, the child can just open one and bam, they're outside, they're gonna fall out. Now, the worst thing here uh, is this shoe rack. Now, my wife loves it, I love it, it's nice and tall, and it was super cheap. Why? Because I put it together by stacking a bunch of those individual shoe racks on one another. So the whole structure is wobbly. I mean, you don't want to think of what's going to happen if this entire shoe rack thingy falls and the baby is right there. So the entire thing needs to be properly glued, secured to the wall. So even if your baby tries to climb up, the worst could happen, they fall on their butt, but they're not going to topple the entire structure. Now keep walking with me, please. So we don't have a real fireplace. But we have this um, fake one, all right? I hope you guys can see it. So I was thinking, what a big deal, you know? If fireplace is not real, there's no real fire, so I don't need to childproof it. There's nothing I need to do about it. Wrong. Look at this. Nothing but sharp corners, exposed brick, different angles. If the baby is crawling or just learning how to walk, if, God forbid, they fall and they hit the head on this thing, it could result in serious injury, possibly death. So what do we, what do we need to do? We need to put a special gate around it so we would secure the area. So the baby can roam around. We have, as you can see, a really long, big living room. The baby could roam around and they're not going to hurt their head or anything. They basically won't be able to access the fireplace. And if you guys have a real fireplace, it definitely needs to be properly secured. So if you please continue with me on this tour, I want to show you this table. I love it, by the way. So this table has a nice little storage so you can open it and put things, put your snacks in there. Unfortunately, this table also has very, very sharp edges. And not only it has four sharp corners, it actually has eight sharp corners. Because again, when you're childproofing, you need to think um, of the child's perspective. Let's say your child is crawling. The first thing they're gonna encounter is these corners right here. And they're at the bottom. Now, you know, I'm a pretty, I'm over six feet tall, so tall adult, the bottom corners is not even a concern for me. But if you have a little crawler, that's where they're gonna hit their head first when they're crawling. So these corners need to be taken care of. All right, TV. 
So let's be honest, I was lazy and I never actually secured the television. So it's not wall mounted, it's freestanding. And of course, what is it? It's a big, big, big hazard. Once the baby learns how to walk, um, or in the process of learning how to walk, they can easily topple the whole thing and seriously hurt herself. So we have spent a couple of minutes and we haven't covered even a 20% of the house. So professional childproofing is a serious business and this is how it works. For a limited time, we are offering a free consultation. A lot of companies in this business usually take some sort of a deposit, a hundred or two hundred dollars, before they even consult with you. And then if you're gonna buy, they will credit that amount to your entire purchase price. But if you don't buy for whatever reason, you're out of hundred or two hundred dollars. So for a limited time, we're doing free consultations, whether you buy from us or not. In addition, we're offering 20% off on all our childproofing packages. So you have absolutely nothing to lose and everything to gain, mainly your valuable precious time. If you waited long enough while the baby is here, you didn't take care of this before the baby was born, you don't have time. You have a lot of chores, you have a lot of stress, you have your job, your family, your in-laws, your a lot of things to take care of, and of course, the baby. So give us a call or go to ouchproofers.com. If you're going to call us, we can do a quick phone consultation or even better, jump on Zoom or Google Meet and just like I'm talking to you right now, give us a quick tour of our house and we will estimate how much it costs to completely, securely childproof your house. Alternatively, you can go to ouchproofers.com and click on Get Started. You will see a very, very short form. Fill that out, answer a few questions and we will get back to you. It takes about a minute, maximum two, to fill out this questionnaire.